Hello, I am Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look to a new terminal emulator called Ghosty. Basically, this is a new terminal that uh, has just been uh, released and it can be installed on uh, Mac or Linux and uh, it's pretty nice because it's fast and it's offering a lot of flexibility to customize it. In here you have their website and in here I have a Mac Pro that I am going to configure it and uh, do the Ghosty installation and uh, besides that we are going to configure also the power lever 10k team basically this team will customize the terminal even more and it will make it uh, look uh, nicer so in here you have some things that uh, you can check and see how you can configure this theme to look with. I have written an article in here with all of these details. So yeah, this is Ghosty, this is their website and from here you can download it and in here you have the documentation. So let's go and download it. So you can install it on uh, Mac OS with the universal binary or you can use a package manager, same for, for Linux. And uh, for this I will just download it and I will install it because I want to use the package manager and for this you are just doing it in normal way, you are just drag it and drop it in, in here. And uh, in here you have also the article with some of details, basically this is the key feature of, of this. And uh, yeah, in here you have some options to install it. You can also install the Maslow font for this that has the icons, uh, I already have this installed also the terminal comes with some predefined nerd form that uh, will work by default and we're going to see all of these details so for instance until now I was using the western for this and like this was looking so I already have some configuration in, in here but I want to also check uh, ghostly I am using it on my work computer and I like it and it looks nice I want to make it uh, look better than the default thing so right now the ghost has been installed and we're going to go and see how it's looking with the default thing so let me open this so right now let's open this and if you're not going to configure anything it's looking like this basically it will not look uh, like this with icons and all of these things by default because it will not use the team that uh, you need to configure so in here you see that I have also installed the power level 10k team and I have configured it so basically you need to have brew installed to have this installed and to install it you just need to run these commands we are going to go and uh, check all of these uh, things and how you can uh, do that so right now it's looking like this out of the box and it took the configurations that I already had in there for the power level 10k and if you want to change something in here for instance you can do that and let me make this thing bigger and in here you see that you have the ghosty you have the settings basically this is the config file for this and it will be automatically opened if you are going to go to the ghosty and settings and in here you can throw some of the things so for instance you can change the font family you, font size you have the background opacity you can change the theme for this so right now let's go and uh, put all of these things in here and for you just to see how it's looking you see that right now it's looking like this if we're going to print this and uh, yeah you see that you have auto complete and everything and we are going to see how you can uh, install all of these things in, in here so you can have everything that you, you want. And right now let's open again the settings for this. And let's put this in here. So basically what this will do, it will increase the font size to 19. It will add a background opacity to this so we can be visible through it and it will choose the team Argonaut. I will not put the font right now. We're going to save this so right now this is saved but the configuration is not loaded you can reload it with the with the keyboard or you can go and do it like this in here on the reload config you see that you have 
this uh, shift command comma to reload it and I have just reloaded right now and yeah we're going to check this you see that right now the opacity has been changed and the theme again has been uh, changed for this it's looking more nice right now and you can go and uh, check all the commands that you want let me open this and open it again because I see the font was not uh, increased so right now you see that like this it's it's looking if we're going to change the font so right now all the things has been uh, changed okay and uh, you have like some options to check for instance the fonts in here and you have the ghosty with plus list fonts to check the the fonts if you want to see what is available right now you see that you have the mess law and you have the man law and some other things that uh, are installed in in here and you can use one of these fonts if you if you want i will let the default one right now in in there and the other thing that you can do is to change the theme so in here you have this command ghosty list themes and you can go and change and see the themes and in here you see that you can uh, check all of the themes that are already in there so you have a lot of themes the themes are from uh, e-terminal and other theme you see in here you have the color scheme I am using Argonaut for this because I like it the, the most and you can scroll through this and choose the one that uh, you like the, the most also you can go and uh, customize how this is uh, looking directly so if we're going to check the documentation in here let's go and choose the docs and in here you have the configuration file and in here you have the overview you have uh, the pattern everything and in here you have all the options so you see that the font family you can change it. you have a lot of font things you can adjust the different things of uh, ghosty the background foreground you can change the cursor color you can activate and deactivate uh, things as you like for instance i like to use the the mouse the yeah i am uh, just putting some basic things in my configuration and you can go and check all of this configuration also you can split panels with ghosty easily so for instance in here if uh, we're going to check let me close this okay let me exit from this and in here for instance you can go and uh, split the panel increase the size and in here you can see that uh, you have the split right you have options to add the tab so command D is to split right command T to open a new tab so command D like this you see that you split it this you can have the options to re rearrange them you can also open tabs like this you see so this is the first tab you this is the second tab and so on and yeah you have all of these uh, configurations that uh, you can do also you have an inspector in here so if you right click this and uh, you have also the option to split right split down if you want like this for instance i'm just uh, showing you what you can do also you can bind this to with a key so you can customize it in the way you you like so in here you have the inspector and you see that the inspector you can check some of the things in here mostly these are for developers I have not uh, played a lot with this but uh, to go and uh, customize this and have it look like this with auto complete and everything is not that complicated you just need to run down some commands so after you put the theme maybe change the font and so on you need to install the power level tk theme so you just brew install it like this then you add the details to the to the profile like this and then you source this and yeah you should be able to start the configurations to run it right now we can do it like this with the pk configure so you can see what is happening so 
Okay, let's copy this and start configure this. PTNK team. So you hit like this and then it will start and in here you will be ask some of the things and you see like you are seeing the diamond yes 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 and in here yes, icons are very close there is no overlap and in here you have the options to choose some of the the options so you see that uh, for instance i'm using the one option but you can change the one that you want and you can even restart this from the beginning if you want like this and let me choose one you have the unicode in here you have the ashi options to to use so i will choose the two you have the options to choose the colors i will use the options with the two and in here you have the format for the time and uh, I will just use the N one line or two lines in here you can configure as you like for me it's two lines and uh, in here you have the options to choose it how you you like you can add the dots or not I will choose one and in here we have the options to put it as compact or sparse to have more space between this so i will use the compact right now you have the options to choose from concise and uh, fluent i will choose concise and in here you have the options for the jit things and to be like this i put yes verbose quiet i'll use the verbose yes overwrite or quit on do nothing so you have the options to overwrite it when you already have configured and right now i will just uh, quit because i already have all of this configured as i like and the other things that you can do is to use the zsh auto suggest so basically you just install it with brew again you add it in your profile and your sources of the files and then you will have the auto complete in in here you see that it the auto complete had started for instance if we run top and uh, so on and you have the options to go let's see wherever you want and again you will have the autocomplete uh, option in here with the commands that you used in the in the past syntax highlighter so basically in here is to have the better visibility of the code again you are just installing it and you are adding this to the zsh rc profile and you source it to make it available again you can install also Tmax for this, if you don't know, Tmax is, is a multiplexer terminal that can help you do various things. Also, Ghostly has some of these things, but if you are used with Tmux, you can use this together with Ghostly. You can even install Zoxid, and Zoxid is like a better CD alternative, and it will help you move easily between, uh, between files and so on. So like this, uh, you can go and uh, configure even more the Ghosty terminal. So right now Ghosty, it's uh, quite new. It has just been released. And uh, yeah, it has some minor bugs from what I've seen, but uh, yeah, I'm just uh, giving it a shot and I am working with it because I like my terminal to not be that boring and have like something that looks better in case you want to, to add something you can go and uh, let a comment below thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video